All right, this video is about loading a Hasselblad uh, film back. I did a video recently on doing a Polaroid, and I thought maybe I should add um, one for doing a regular um, 120 film back. So here we go. All right, I got the film out of the box and the wrapper. Um, one thing I'm going to do is actually show you how to open a 120 uh, film roll. Um, it seems like it's trivial. It is. Uh, but when you're loading a Hasselblad back, you've got to be very careful not to get any scraps of paper in. That's the only reason I'm making a point of this. This one came off very nicely. The uh, backing paper is nice and clean. Uh, but basically what I wanted to demonstrate is if, you, if any of the tape is left on here, you want to get that off. You don't want any pieces falling off into the mechanism in here. All right, now I'm going to need to take the insert out of the back. Um, one note, when you put a dark slide, um, which is what this is, into a Hasselblad back, it's better to put the flat side towards the rear. Uh, it makes it easier to slide your insert in and out. Um, so here comes the insert. And the first thing I've got to do is move my take-up reel over to the take-up side. And you'll know the take-up side by the fact that it's got a little knurled grip on the top and that's what you're going to use to uh, roll the film on before you put the insert back into the shell. Alright, so I'm going to grab my film here and the film goes that side down into this area. So I'm going to do that. This is very tricky to do while you're looking at the back of your video camera. Anyway, so now I've got it snapped in. This, this guy just tilts. Let me see if I can demonstrate this. Um, this is spring-loaded and it just tilts right down and you just make sure it's seated nicely. This is a newer style. The older style, each of these little ends kind of levers up independently, but it works the same in general. Um, so now i got to feed my film or my backing paper around this side and onto this reel. So one thing I like to do is to release this little tab here this actually holds your film in place when you're loading the camera. I like to use it to help me load um, the film on, onto the insert itself. So I'm going to put a little tension on the film. I like to keep it tight and then tuck this underneath. I know I make this look harder than it is. It's like you need three hands. And I like, to, as I said, I like to keep some tension on. And I pull it till the arrow is just about visible and then I lock it into place. Okay, so now backing paper is locked into place. I'm a little bit short of where I need to be in terms of getting my film lined up. The arrows need to line up. There's a uh, delta or a little triangle up here that shows where the arrow should be. I'm a little bit short of that because I want to get the film nice and tight on here. So now I get my uh, take-up reel where I need it and Feed the tongue in. Easy for me to say. Okay. We bring it around. And then I make sure that's nice and snug in there. And then I keep tension on this while I'm winding it on. And the whole point here is to get rid of any slack. See how nice and tight that is there? You don't want any slack on this guy. Um, so now I can release this again and I'm going to need to in order to wind my film the rest of the way on. So, alright, so now the arrow is lined up. I've got plenty of tension on. I'm going to lock this thing back down again. It has to be in this position to put into the shell and that also locks this tab down here. So, I'm going to put this guy back in the shell. lock it into position. The next step, you don't want to forget this, you've got to wind the film on to the first frame. I've done this twice now where I forget to do this, throw it onto the camera, and I take uh, quite a few shots that go onto the backing paper, which is not a good thing. Let's just do it. It takes about 10 turns, but really these, uh, this is a new style back, which really is pretty old. Um, it'll stop on its own. Okay, just stopped this. If, if, the, if the wind knob 
ends up in a place where you can't fold the handle back down, well, it ratchets so you can move it to where it needs to be. And it folds down nice and snug here. Now you can see I'm on frame one, and the indicator is now white, indicating that I'm ready to rock. And this is like a little progress bar. It will start turning red as I shoot frames. And I should have mentioned at the beginning to see whether you have any film in a, a back that might be loaded. You look to see if this guy's entirely red. Well, it's safe basically to open the back. And uh, so, like I said, this guy is ready to go because I've turned until that won't turn anymore. And all my indicators are, are good. One more thing. I want to grab this tab. And I'm going to put that in here. And that will remind me of what kind of film I've got in this guy. By the way, if you buy film in boxes, you're not going to have a bunch of little tabs. I mean, if you buy the film in five packs, is what I mean to say, um, you're not going to have a bunch of boxes to open. It's all going to just, you know, the five rolls are going to come in this thing. So I just keep a collection of these things in my bag. And um, in cases where I didn't ever happen to have a box, then I use the back of one and just, you know, write a film type on it. So that's a little tip for you. Um, keep these guys around so that you can always know what you've got in your back. Hope that was useful. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.